So our first step is to go to the App Store, where we type in e-downloader. And the first thing that comes up, EDL Lite, you download that. Once you have downloaded that, you go and you find the app and you open it up. This app has a lot of annoying apps, or uh, ads, that come up, so don't worry if those come up. Just wait for them to present themselves an opportunity to click out like that. You just press the X. Go up to the top and type in YouTube to MP3. YouTube to MP3. And you get this, which comes up as the first result, is YouTube to MP3 converter, called Online Video Converter. So I click on that, and it should get me there. Now I need the link from my YouTube. So there that is. I go to YouTube, and I type in my instrumental that I want. I'll do walk it like I talk it instrumental. Okay, and you see I already have it there. But I click on the instrumental, and then there's the link. I just click once on that, and it clicks copy. Now I go back to my e-downloader, and it says paste. Now here's one of the ads I was talking about. So what we have to do is just wait it out, and we'll get to the X. So there's an X up there, and then there's going to be another X. There we go. All right, so I paste link here. I click on that, click again, and click paste and then click start and it says preparing your conversion so it's going to be converting the file now um, so now next step is depending on where you want to bring it is into iMovie or into GarageBand so let's say first that I want to bring it into GarageBand I'll click on download and click oh no I'll click download again so you click download twice. Okay. Now down here, you have a thing called downloads and a thing called files. It'll be in both. So if you go to one of them and click the three little lines on the right side, three lines next to the piece, you click open in. Now you go to, if you're trying to bring it to iMovie, you click copy to iMovie right there. If that's not there, you click on More and try to find iMovie as a selection. If you want to bring it to GarageBand, you click on Save to Files. That brings you here, where you find On My iPhone. And you click GarageBand, and then GarageBand File Transfer, and then click Add. Okay? Now, then you go to GarageBand. where you'll open up an audio project. You'll go to My Songs, and you'll click on the plus to make a new song. Go to Audio Recorder, click Audio Recorder. You're done with here, so you're gonna click the little Tetris block up there, and then you're gonna click the little roller coaster loop button in the top right. And go to, not Apple Loops, but Audio Files. And you should see that there. If you don't see it there, go to Browse My Local Files but you should see, there it is. Now what you have to do is select it and drag it, and you drag it underneath. And then you have your audio file. You press that record button to record over top of it. Okay, if the metronome's clicking too much, turn it off of blue. You see that, blue and not blue. And then you can record. If I record something that I don't like, like, uh, if I, you know, it'll, okay. If I record something I don't like, I can either select it twice and click delete, or I can press the undo button there. Okay? That's how you do it into GarageBand. Now, for iMovie, here's how you do it you go back to that file, you click your three lines, well, you wait for your ad to be removed, which is really not helpful for making an online video really un unhelpful. You click your files, and you click open in, and you go to copy to iMovie. And 
then it asks you to create new movie and there you have your audio file and then your job is to just drag and drop in so that's all you got to do have fun creating bye bye